Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who don't know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the million dollar challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is try to get 201 trades, each an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades. We do take into account losses so for further details about how to join us for less than nine dollars a month information is available in the description below in today's video we're going to be looking at mmtlp and i'm going to be first of all providing a summary and an update in terms of the congress campaign which i believe has now ended but it's not ended for good we're also going to be looking at the question can a short position be carried over into a private company which has been asked uh, on a number of occasions on, on on social media and we're also going to be looking at uh, a letter to the meta materials board from shareholders which is i think is quite important and finishing off by a review of the weekly watch list so stay tuned for that so before we get started let's have a look at what's happening in the market so first headline here from yahoo finance we can see uh, there is a prediction here and that is three rate cuts in 2024 are in line with my uh, thinking so that's from the feds gold, uh, gold solby and uh, in other news we can see um, from investing.com uh, they are saying goldman are saying here that s p 500 could hit 6000 if mega cap strength uh, persists so the mega caps have been doing exceptionally well and uh, in other good news uh, especially from a crypto point of view uh, great news for everybody holding Bitcoin. It is currently up uh, in excess of 3.72% at time of editing and just crossed the $70,000 mark. And um, shout out now to uh, Stock Market News who have stated that uh, Qualcomm, Google and Intel plan to work together to try and go after NVIDIA's um, chokehold on AI software. So that's from uh, uh, Reuters. And the final thing I'm going to share with you is uh, news with regard to Micron, which is one of our stocks that we were watching carefully. Uh, and it did uh, have a good beat on earnings uh, and today at time of editing it's also up on all time highs i think at time of editing it was up uh, close to seven percent so congratulations to everybody in micron I'd like to now provide an update and summary in terms of DC and what happened with Congress, especially uh, in terms of all the meetings that Don and his team had. Uh, I believe they were very, very successful. So in terms of the update from Busy Brand Space Call, we can see here uh, so from the notes some that I made, uh, I think there were 75 packets dropped, uh, six flights. Uh, 94 in-person meetings uh, and he also state, they also stated that they um, everybody they spoke to wanted to offer their support. They also know, know and are aware that there is an issue and a problem and the general message to everybody out there in terms of the community is keep calling, keep calling your congressperson, keep also writing your impact letters uh, and basically uh, we're not going to stop in terms of Don. Uh, he will be hopefully going back to DC uh, and as far as I'm aware I think um, he's not going to give up until we get the resolution and uh, from a personal point of view I'd like to wish uh, uh, done all the best i think there may be um uh, some uh, family issues with regard to why he wasn't on the space personally so uh, hopefully uh, things recover well for you done to do is focus on the question can a short position be carried over into a private company so this has been a common question by many of the investors out there uh, so from my point of view i don't believe there is a specific law for this however in reality i think uh, broker dealers normally would not allow this to happen and uh, in the mmtlp fiasco we saw that many brokers were also suggesting that this would not happen so uh, let's have a look at some polls from rare dd and what he stated with regard to the corporate action in sharing some images he will see he stated here that FINRA claims to create MMTLP corporate actions are consistent with the 23rd um, uh, of November 2022 PR from Meta Materials, but close examination proves that FINRA lied by incorporating 13th of December into the MMTLP corporate action. So uh, very, very good point here and highlighted in, in red um, uh, rectangles there, we can see uh, what there is a bit clearly stated, both the Nextbridge Hydrocarbons distribution and MMTLP share cancellation would take place after December the 14th. So that is what we all expected. And what that basically should have meant is that the shares were DTC eligible after market close on 
14th of December 2022. So that means T2, T plus 2 could easily have taken place uh, for the position close only, which is what we are talking about uh, in terms of the corporate action. It didn't instruct short positions to close specifically. So I think that's what some of the, uh, should we say, the fudsters out there are saying. Uh, and the fudsters are also saying that there is no specific law. Uh, so the U3 halt prevented brokerage, brokerages, broker dealers from proceeding the way they plan. And I think uh, obviously we never actually got to that situation where it should have happened. So another image shared here, uh, did Fins FINRA cancel uh, the MMTLP shares? Did FINRA delete the MMTLP sim symbol? So FINRA's answer is they did not cancel the MMTLP shares. They are saying Metamaterials cancelled the shares uh, effective December the 14th and FINRA does not and can, cannot cancel any security. So the answer here is uh, using the actual 14th December after closed share cancellation date, a new MMTLP buy could have occurred as late as, tw as uh, 12th of December. So uh, again, uh, strong contradictions there. So let's now have a look at some what some of the brokers uh, stated. So this is Trading212 and this is my particular broker that I use and highlighted in red at the, mo at the bottom. As I stated, the broker dealers do not normally allow short positions to go into private company and they normally would close on behalf of uh, the short. So it states here, you need to sell the MMTLP shares prior to close on market, uh, close on December the 12th uh, uh, and the, uh, for the uh, MMTLP series A preferred share and they will remain available to trade in close only state until then. So repeat, they will be able, will be available to trade in close only state. So that's the broker dealer saying that. Uh, and now if we go on to Ameritrade, we can see it here in the live chat on the left, it also states news closing sell orders of MMTLP should be routed normally, but there may be liquidity issues and the dates confirmed by the uh, um, uh, Ameritrade here are the 9th of December to the 12th of December. So again, um, another strong contradiction with it in terms of what uh, FINRA are saying. And uh, a message here, and we can see from E-Trade, it states here that uh, what Rare DD is saying, it contains a response from E-Trade to the client where they would likely explain that forced buy-ins would likely occur for any short MMTL position. And the second image shows proof that these transactions occurring after the halt. But again, FINRA did not allow these transactions to clear. And finally, a uh, shout out here to the Penny Queen, who also stated from Schwab, and she said secondhand news uh, from Schwab, uh, MMTLP shorts must be closed by end, uh, the end of day on the 8th. Can anyone confirm? Uh, and that was what John Berda stated. He stated that that was his understanding. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, none of the shorts actually closed the positions on the 8th, 7th, 6th. Uh, they just never closed. What well, now I'd like to do is share with you a call to action for Metamaterials MMAT shareholders. So shout out here to Jonah, who's posted a um, shareholder letter release call to action. Uh, there is a link there and she states here, as a group of investors, 120 signed the original. We are asking the board of directors at Metamaterials for further information information clarity so please support us by sharing and sending it to ir at metamaterial.com or to the chairman of the board jack harding email there on the screen so let's have a quick uh, intro to the letter and it states here in the intro on the on the just paste.it link the letter serves as a formal demand for information from the board on behalf of the shareholders and collectively we are apprehensive about the board and that is certainly understandable in fully fulfilling their duty of care, duty of good faith, duty of loyalty and remember the shareholders are the owners of the company and the letters do not adequately address or many of the shareholders concerns so that's a reference to the pr that the meta materials board have released and she uh, it also states say while discretion may dictate the strategic withholding of certain information we expect direct and comprehensive written responses within 10 days so um that that particular letter is dated 29th of the 3rd 2024 but so it's going to be sent at a future date so go ahead and check this link out I finally like to give a shout out to yesterday's video where I called out a new cannabis stock to the channel. This is tick symbol FLGC, also known as Flora Growth 
corporation. So if we have a look at the chart for that today. Uh, we can see in pre-market it was uh, close to $2. Uh, it did dip uh, to close to $1.60. And uh, currently at time of editing, it's up close to 15% at $1.81. So congratulations to everybody who is in FLGC. So uh, in terms of a quick uh, review of uh, some of the other stocks that we called out, as well as FLGC in the previous uh, video, uh, in the previous week we called out CGC that had a great uh, week it was the best call of the week up over 133% ACB that was up 46% TLRY again another stock benefiting from the cannabis news uh, up 27% on the week AKBA up 24% on the week MU we called that on earnings that was up 14% on the week uh, and also doing exceptionally well today and GEO was also called at 12.6% uh, success on the week so not all calls are successful if you would like to get a copy of our daily stock alerts as well as our weekly watch list details are in the description below thank you very much for watching please stay tuned